Welcome to the Outdoor Line Last Cast for the last Saturday in October. If it's the last Saturday in October, the first week in November is right around the corner, which means black mouth season, folks. Like it or not, next Saturday is the Bayside Marine Salmon Derby. Killer event. One technique you need to keep in your pocket for black mouth fishing is the use of plugs. This is a Tomic. It's actually a Tomic uh, 158. It's a little... Uh, um, a little UV model. This is a 602, a couple mainstays, both variations on the mother of pearl, but just dynamite plugs. A plug does something that no other piece of trolling gear does in your box, and that's float. And we're going to use that to our advantage by the way we're going to rig this thing up. Okay, we're going to go straight to the braid uh, on the plug, and we want the plug to be towed in a very specific location on the wire pin. Okay, and we're going to show you just how to do that. Now, now, right off the bat, though, a lot of people are thinking, okay, if we're running braid right straight to the plug, are we going to have a problem with our pinch-style releases? And no, you're not, and here's why. The problems with braid and pinch-style releases in a, in a trolling scenario off of downriggers happens when you're fishing flasher gear that has a lot of drag. These plugs have absolutely no drag. Plus, we're going to be using very light. This is actually 30-pound test. Daiwa Samurai Braid. Very, very light, but it's all you need to do this. Okay, so when you first get a Tomic plug, it's going to have a toe ring in it, right? First thing I do is I'll usually tie to that toe ring and see how it behaves in the water. Sometimes they'll fish with them. Generally, though, I cut that toe ring off so I can tie right to the toe bar. Okay, very important. So if we're tying our plug, right to the tow bar. First we need to make sure that our knot is going to stay in a very specific location. We want that knot to be in the upper end of that tow bar so the plug is forced to dive even more. Again, plugs float so when we change speeds we turn, okay, it's going to be working up and down through the water column and that is the plug's advantage because we're going to have that plug 50 feet or more behind our pinch style release, okay? So how do we get that knot to stay in that one specific location? We have to tie a false knot. False knot is nothing, nothing fancy. Okay, basically all we're doing here is we're, is we're taking we're taking some 20, 25, 30 pound test. Okay, okay, and then I'm just going to tie a cinch knot, and 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 leave it on there. But I'm going to trim both ends tight, so it's it's a knot, but it doesn't have anything going to it. So basically, two, three, four, we'll go through. All right, and back through. and pull that thing just tight as tight can be. Okay, now we're going to take our handy dandy clippers, snip the, snip the tag end off, snip the business end off, and that's all. So all we have on there is just a simple knot, but since we used a double cinch knot, that knot doesn't want to move very much at all. I mean, we can push on it. You can see how hard I can push on this knot with this, with, with this clipper. And, and the knot is not moving, right? Okay, so I got to really force it to move it. So that's going to be your stopper. That's going to keep your braid exactly where you want. Because again, we're tying braid right directly to that tow bar. Okay, now, so we need to sacrifice just a little bit of our braid to, to accomplish what we need to do with this knot. And again, we're going to tie with a double thickness. I feel a lot better about this knot. It's going to last a long time because you're using a double thickness to a piece of metal. Anytime you're tying directly to metal, this is a great knot to use with braid. Okay, so basically we're pulling that that bite of braid through, and and we've got a lot of tag in to work with here. And all you need to do is three times around, two, three. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go through the tow bar. Slipped off my finger there. There we go. We're going to go through the loop that accommodates the tow bar, drop this right in, then the whole loop is going to go over the back of the plug, okay, so it's almost a palomar aspect to this knot, over the hook harness, okay, and slide it forward. Now here's the secret to successfully tying this knot. You need to grab the knot and start milking up all this slack. And in doing so, that loop is gonna, is gonna gradually disappear, but you can't just jerk on it and expect that to happen. So we've gotta milk all this up by pulling it up the, 
pulling the knot itself up, up your running piece of line. Now we're going to cheat a little bit more, get some more of this up here, and cheat a little bit more, and pull more of this up here, and cheat a little bit more, and make sure if, if one side isn't, isn't, isn't behaving, you can tug on a little bit, and then tug on the tag end a little bit, and she all gets milked up. So then when we're done, we have a nice clean knot, and we have our false knots. Make sure, make sure you clip the correct end of your braid. And yeah, to tie this knot, it's going to cost you about a foot of braid. But then when you're done, here's what you have. You have your braid going straight to that plug. It's tied on the top of that tow bar. And then we're going to slide our false knot up. So it's going to impinge on that. And then so, so we don't have this big false knot in the way, you're going to rotate that false knot down, just a little technique point, so it's hidden within the tow bar and will not influence the plug's action in any way. So there we go. There's your tied to the top of the tie bar, false knotted, 30 pound test. And that plug is going to dive and do stuff that, that you wouldn't, you will be surprised how this is going to act in the water. Every single year, it seems like during the wintertime, during the summertime, we'll get a huge fish on a plug. And, and the way it works up and down in the water column, you're not, not exactly married to the bottom. Hey, if you're fishing in 100 feet of water, you can put 90 feet of line out, have this thing 50, 60 feet behind the boat, and let it hunt some fish up for you. That's another dirty downrigger trick here from, uh, from the gang of the Outdoor Line. Hope to put her to good use and jump on our forums and put a report up on our fish report board when, uh, when you get a big, big Chinook on this plug trick. See you next week.